Welcome back. Success in producing and raising healthy, profitable beef cattle often hinges on the control of internal parasites that steal profits and negatively impact animal health. To learn just how producers can fight this ever-present yet unseen parasite threat, we caught up with our friends at Merck Animal Health to talk about optimal parasite control strategies for cattle producers. Cattleman and Cattleman reporter Brian Baxter has the story. When it comes to battling internal parasites, having the best product isn't enough. Timing your deworming treatment to combat the life cycle of the parasites on pasture is key. It's so important because parasites affect every aspect of the cattle production, okay? And they're in every production cycle, whether it's cow, calf, stalker, or feedlot. If we look at the three things that parasites do, they affect it, uh, decrease feed intake, decrease average daily gain, and alter the immune system. All three of those can affect, affect the productivity of that calf to the tune of about $190 over his lifetime. Experts say only 1 to 5 percent of parasites are actually in the cow herd. Most are in the form of eggs and larvae on the pasture. So cattlemen need to think strategically to reduce the parasite population and prevent losses. When we have a strategic deworming program, what we're trying to accomplish is a relatively parasite safe pasture year round. Okay? The benefits from that, are, they again come in the form of increased conception rates, increased weaning weights, decreased health problems. The way we do this is attack the worms when the pasture is growing at its best. When the pasture is at its best, the worms are at their best. And so if we deworm at strategic times, then we can have the most impact on our pastures and decrease the number of, of, of eggs and larvae on the pasture. Timing and method of application are just part of the deworming equation. What producers really need to know is if their product is working by checking the effectiveness of their dewormer. It behooves us all to check and see what we're doing is actually working. And several years ago, I worked with parasitologists to develop a standardized fecal egg count reduction test. And what that does is look at the efficacy of the deworming. So a producer can go out deworm his cattle, take some fecal samples. 14 days later, we take more fecal samples. And if we get a 90% reduction or better in that egg count, then we know he's had a successful deworming. If it's less than 90%, then we need to go back and look at some things. Did he use the product correctly? Was it dosed correctly? You know, if all those can be answered yes, then we need to look at, is there a resistance problem? All cattle can be a host of internal parasites. A whole herd deworming program shows benefits to both cows and calves. All animals, if you're in a cow-calf situation, should be dewormed. While the adult cow will develop some immunity to these parasites, she still sheds a tremendous number of eggs and is a huge source of infection for a calf. Parasites in the young animal are much more detrimental than they are in the older animal, so it's vitally important to get, keep those controlled in the young for their production. Brent Parkman, manager of Parkman Cattle Company south of Montgomery, Alabama, knows firsthand how important good parasite control can be. We've been in business for 35 years. My dad started the company uh, back in the 70s. We're a order buying background or operation. Uh, we cover most, uh, if not all, the markets in the southeast. We also are in the uh, stocker business. We turn out stocker cattle throughout the southeast and midwest uh, from peanut farmers in South Georgia to uh, wheat farmers in Oklahoma and Kansas. In the southeast um, where we get uh, a tremendous amount of rainfall, our cattle come in mineral deprived and loaded with parasites. We are looking to maximize cattle performance um, reduction of fecal egg counts and uh, just doing, doing all that we can do to help the animal perform in the environment that it's going to be in, whether it's in the feed yard or whether it's on pasture. Welcome back. Let's return to Alabama and reporter Brian Baxter with more on the value of parasite control. Parkman Cattle Company is a diversified, family-run operation where the emphasis is on family. It's a family environment. Uh, I work along my mother, my father, my brother, my nephews, my nieces, 
and my children are getting of the age now where they're they're getting out here and and uh, it just makes me feel good to see an eight-year-old boy pinning 200 head of cattle. When it comes to selecting a deworming program, beef producers are looking for one thing. Weight gain, producers are selling pounds. We're using Safeguard to clean the cattle out, to uh, get them clean, in order to, for those cattle to maximize their efficiency on feed or grass uh, when they leave here. Timing of cattle deworming is important, but not always convenient. So Merck Animal Health offers several non-handling forms of dewormer to allow producers to deworm at the most optimal time for maximum benefit. Well, the neat thing about with Safeguard, they can actually deworm without having to handle the cattle. You know, research shows that it can cost up to five bucks a head to, de to handle those cattle. With Safeguard, with our non-handling forms, you don't actually have to gather the cattle. We have several feed-through products that are just as efficacious as the drench or the paste. Parkman Cattle Company has incorporated Safeguard non-handling forms of dewormer into various aspects of their operation. We use Safeguard mineral in, uh, on hard-to-reach cattle that we don't want to put our hands on and have to go through the stress and the weight loss on those cattle. We'll just uh, pull their mineral and uh, apply the Safeguard mineral to that. We use Safeguard range cubes to deworm our brood cows uh, during times of the year where we don't have to get up and, and put our hands on those cattle. When the grass is at its best, we want our cattle to be at their best. Uh, we want the, uh, the cattle as clean as possible and using Safeguard non-handling forms such as mineral or range cubes in order to deworm those cattle will get those cattle at their level that they need to be to maximize their potential. Recently, Parkman Cattle Company has also started using Safeguard Drench and an injectable dewormer on incoming stocker calves. At initial processing, when we receive the cattle in, the cattle will be vaccinated and uh, fully processed. Uh, bulls will be castrated. Uh, deworming, we use, we use Safeguard Drench along with an injectable dewormer to, to get the cattle cleaned out. Cattle just perform better, they, they're cleaner. Uh, after day 30 coming out of the preconditioning pen, they're ready to go to work uh, as far as going on grass programs or, or into the feedlots. And there is good science behind using a combination deworming approach. Well, basically the science behind it is this. When you put an avermectin together with Safeguard, you're playing to the strengths of both products. Also, there's been some modeling done where we've looked at parasite resistance. And by using the combination, it would appear that we may be able to slow the development of resistance for several years. A good parasite control program provides the foundation to nearly all other health and production management practices. Dr. Newcomb sums up an optimal deworming approach. With internal parasites, we should make sure that the producers are deworming these animals at the most optimal time, employing strategic deworming. And then what they need to be doing is actually checking behind these wormings to make sure that they were efficacious. For Brent and his family, getting each animal to perform to their full potential is the ultimate goal. Since we've been using Safeguard, we've seen a uh, increase in feed intake, better performance, and, um, and that's maximizing our opportunities uh, in the livestock business because that's what we're about is, is selling pounds of beef. In Montgomery, Alabama, I'm Brian Baxter reporting for NCBA's Cattlemen to Cattlemen. A USDA cow-calf survey found that fewer than 5% of producers check the effectiveness of their deworming program. To learn more about Safeguard and other Merck Animal Health products, visit MerckAnimalHealthUSA.com or log on to our website at cattlemantocattlemen.org.